We're going to cover some exercises that you can do when you have limited space today, as well as some methods that I work on is to develop my kicking ability. These techniques are very simple to do in your living room floor. You can do them sitting on a chair, you can do them sitting on a couch. I'll be doing them sitting on the floor. Uh, I actually really enjoy doing these. I can sit and watch TV and just kind of stretch and do simple little things. So that's what we're going to cover. Okay, practicing some kicking drills from setting, from a kneeling position, setting position, etc., etc. Uh, the focus on these isn't necessarily on power in the beginning. It's more focusing on getting the hip and the technique to work together. We're going to cover the round kick to begin with. The posture that I like to begin in is I'm sitting on my hip, and I turn my hip over, pointing my knee upward. I'll use my heel, or my, sorry, my elbow in my front guard, and I'll practice extending and recoiling. And I'll do 15 of these, focusing on keeping that leg and that hip up. Just rotate. And then, of course, I will always rotate to the other side. Exact same drill. And you can do as many of those as you want. You can uh, add a lot of spice to them, etc., etc. The side kick, exact same thing. If I'm sitting on my right side, got my guard up, I'll chamber my knee. Notice this was your round kick position. Your side kick, your knee comes to your chest, and then you extend and recoil, extend and recoil. Always pulling the knee back to you from the front, so you guys can see that here. Push, recoil, push, recoil. Very, very, very important that that knee comes in and out. Okay? You can execute uh, hook kicks as well doing this. Uh, the hook kick technique looks like a side kick, chamber. Extend to the front, hook, snap a roundhouse, maybe if you want. I like to do that. And then rechamber. So hook, round. Hook, round. So you can see it from the front. Hook, round. Hook, round. Pretty simple. There's a lot of different exercises that we can practice as well. Uh, I will do punches and techniques of that nature while I'm stretching. So maybe I'm doing a simple frog stretch, setting my hips back, and I'll just practice my punches in my blocks. Just working that leg, getting those thighs nice and stretched out as, as part of the exercise as well. The uh, methods that we do this are pretty simple. <laughs> One of the things I also like to do is work my back kick. Working your back kick from a seated position is a little bit different. I'm actually going to stand here in a kneeling position. I'll put my hands down, I'll look over my shoulder, bring my knee in tight, extend out, recoil, back down. Up, out, back down. Focusing on that bladed foot and back down. Looking over the shoulder, seeing where that heel hits. Great way to work on your kicks at home. Uh, it doesn't take a lot of space. When I was younger, I traveled a lot, did a lot of seminars, went to a lot of tournaments, and the hotel rooms are very tiny. The hotel rooms in Okinawa are even smaller. And I would practice these every day. So it was just something you can do on the bed, watching TV, sitting on the floor. Just giving you guys some ideas.